Hi! Today we're going to look at shared coordinates and how to set project north in a project. I'm assuming you know a little bit about shared coordinates. Um, it's mainly used for have a shared of coordinates that's different in your project uh, from um, a, a drawing that you get from the survey, for example. So often you get a survey drawing where coordinates they're really, really far away from 0.0. .0. So therefore you need to use the shared coordinates because the software can simply not handle uh, a set of coordinates that far away uh, in Revit. However, in AutoCAD, uh, they often are. So when you get this survey drawing, you can get really far away from zero. So first I'm going to draw, uh, that's my only little tip, my private one, which is uh, set up two reference planes. Uh, and use them as a backup um, for your grid. First we have one plane here and then we're going to draw the other one in this direction. And this is my setup point for the project. I'm going to name my grid lines here. The first one I'm going to call setout P uh, N S north south the other one I will call uh, set out P East West. Then I will lock them. Sorry, I will pin them. Uh, and the reason why I do this is that in a central file uh, I have the experience that um, uh, that it can happen that someone accidentally uh, move the grid or uh, by accidentally taking ownership of a work set. So after been working in uh, very large projects with a lot of people in the same central file, um, it's good to just um, have this kind of extra security set. Um, I still put them on the work set of, um, of the grid. Um, then I will um, uh, put some grid lines on and uh, I'm just going to do it in one direction just to show you more clearly um, uh, and we can copy it along. There we are. Uh, then I will just put in uh, two walls just to also in 3D we can see what's uh, going on and um, and I will uh, align them to the grid on the inside is that sort of the most and you have to pick the reference planes and you pick then you can lock it to the reference plane this can this is quite a good thing to do sometimes I'm going to go into manage. Um, I'm going to say specify coordinates at a point. And I'm going to specify my 0, 0 right here. And it's going to be 0, it's going to be 0. And as I can see, we are on level 0. So I would like to say that's actually 0 as well. I would say OK. Um, so now we set the shared coordinates. Then we would like to um, to use the rotate true north. First, you're going to look over here, and you can see in the properties of the view that it's set to project north, uh, but we want true north. We change it to true north here. You can see nothing is rotating because we haven't set it yet. You can go in. Um, I again think that it's a good idea to use a reference plane to indicate the direction of your true north. Uh, right now we say that this is the direction of the true north. Then you go back into your project here and you pick your point and you rotate to true north. And you can see that the entire project have rotated to true north. And you can see that the browser over here is saying we are looking at true north. And you can set it to project north and it will move back. And this is very convenient. Uh, the big benefit is when you go to export here uh, in CAD format, DWG files, uh, because when you want to collaborate with your uh, 
consultants. Uh, you can go in and say, I would like to export with shared coordinates. And this is where the big difference is. So if you go and say export um, this model space, um, and you can pick a file and you can say OK. This would be the zero, zero point of the project. If you uh, are in 3D, you can also double check um, that everything is right by going into the annotation and you can pick spot elevation. You don't need to say OK right now. Um, and if you pick spot elevation, this should say zero and it does. And this, and you can also do that at the top here and say eight. Um, because as you remember when we went in in the beginning, it actually set the project this point to be 1500 above um, ground, now zero. Well, thank you for listening and um, I hope you uh, can use uh, this uh, simple introduction to shared coordinates and Project North for your project. Thank you. Bye.